Power lines that energize Midtown residents is charging towards the Arizona Corporation Commission. But TEP's Midtown Reliability Project must first get a positive review from a line siting committee. 13 News reporter J.D. Wallace is live near Grant and I-10 with the circuit this plan must follow. J.D. Brooke, the Midtown Reliability Project would connect TEP substation here at Grant and I-10 to another one at 36th and Kino. The goal is to relieve stress on the grid, but the potential routes have generated it for some Midtown residents. Um, Show Sam Hughes resident Jim McMurray the possibility of more power lines along Campbell Avenue. They got to go somewhere. I mean, they do, you know, and... and we already have some obstruction of view. His perspective is less charged than some of his neighbors who have said TEP isn't considering the impact on the community and should bury the lines. You know, I'd like to have all the wires gone behind my house and all around here, but you know, it's not it's not very feasible. TEP's Midtown Reliability Project has a variety of possible routes, up to 24 combinations that will be presented to the Arizona Power Plant and Transmission Line Siting Committee. The Midtown Reliability Project connects two substations from I-10 and Grant to 36th and Kino through a proposed substation near Banner University Medical Center. It upgrades electrical infrastructure dating back 50 years to serve Midtown, which has grown and placed maximum demand on current equipment. That would provide additional capacity that would allow us to upgrade other uh, components of our system. And with that added capacity, we would have more options for rerouting power and avoiding and, and minimizing outages, uh, e even during the summertime. Sam Hughes residents have opposed the options near them, but the preferred route uses Euclid Avenue. The line siting committee must approve the application before it lands in front of the Arizona Corporation Commission. We feel strongly that uh, we need to build this project because we have circuits that are essentially overloaded. They're delivering about as much power as they can. Let progress progress, you know, to me, you know. I, um, if, you know, if TEP wants to do something egregious, I might get involved. The public hearing in front of the line signing committee is scheduled for July 8th. You can check out the time and location and all of these possible routes through a link with this story at KOLD.com. Live in Midtown, J.D. Wallace, 13 News.